Hello guys. Now we need to configure the role for our failover cluster. So the technique is going to be like this. We already created the failover cluster. That was the first step. Now I need to configure which role is going to work inside our failover cluster. And we know the purpose of this SQL server is, uh, sorry, we know the purpose of this failover cluster is to run SQL server. So in the role, I need to configure something which is going to suit my SQL installation. Right click on role, select configure role. Even before that, just again, let us review what do we have in disks. In disks, as you see, the system automatically picked the smallest one as a disk witness. Now, when I want to configure this role, I am going to pick the DTC role and I want it to pick the second or the third hard disk here, the one with two gigabyte. And again, just uh, to remind you, the first hard disk, the witness one, is going to uh, register the information or the logs relating to the failover cluster itself. The DTC uh, is going to register the transaction logs for the service which I need to support. And the service here is DTC. And DTC, it needs to be picked when you want to install a database. Uh, and the third one later, I will use it just to install the SQL server instance in both nodes, of course, server two and server one. So now in roles, right click, select configure role. You have welcome screen. Next. Here, if you take a look, you have different services. You will not going to find something like a database server, but you need to pick this one, the distributed transaction coordinator, DTC. And this one distributed application that perform a transaction, transaction set of rated tasks such as update to databases. That's why you need to pick this one. Next.